Welcome back. The political news in full. Egypt opened its Rafah border crossing on Friday to allow the delivery of humanitarian and relief aid to Gaza as the Israeli occupation forces expanded military aggression on the Strip entered its 14th day. Gaza has been hit by a relentless barrage of Israeli occupation fire in retaliation of an alleged Hamas attack on October 7, claiming the lives of nearly 3,800 Palestinians. into the Gaza Strip on Friday with Palestinians in dire need of food and water after relentless bombing by the Israeli occupation forces still reeling from the bloodiest attack in its history. Israel has vowed to destroy Hamas after the group launched a massive attack from the Gaza Strip on October 7, killing at least 1,400 people, mostly civilians. Hamas members also took nearly 200 people hostage, including foreigners from around two dozen countries, ranging from Paraguay to Tanzania. In response, uh, Israeli occupation warplanes have leveled entire city blocks in Gaza in preparation for a ground invasion that say is coming soon. More than 3,785 Palestinians, mostly civilians, have died in the bombing. The United Nations says more than 1 million of Gaza, 2.4 million people have been displaced and that the humanitarian situation is worsening by the day with no green light yet to send in the trucks lined up at the border. Medicine, water, purifiers and blankets were being unloaded at El Arish airport near Gaza with Ahmed Ali, head of the Egyptian Red Crescent, saying he was getting two to three planes of aid a day. Meanwhile, the two sides continued to trade blame for deadly strikes. The latest coming at a church compound, Gaza, late Thursday. Hamas officials said several people sheltering at the church were killed and wounded, blaming an Israeli occupation strike. The strike reportedly damaged the facade of the church and caused an adjacent building to collapse, and many injured people were evacuated to hospital. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres uh, said on Friday that aid trucks need to move to Gaza as quickly as possible as he oversaw the delivery of the first aid shipment into the Strip at the Egyptian side of the Rafah border crossing. Guterres expressed gratitude for Egypt's political leadership and people over the move uh, which provided hope for the Palestinian people in Gaza who are in dire need of the aid. The UN chief made these remarks as he addressed a press conference in Rafah city saying that the organization is working actively with Egypt, the United States and Israel to make sure that conditions for delivering aid are lifted. Egypt hosts on Saturday the International Cairo Peace Summit on the recent military escalation in Gaza. The summit called for by the president brings together regional and international patterns of uh, discussing the latest developments of the Palestinian cause. In remarks ahead of the summit, Foreign Minister Sameh Shoukri said Egypt will be seeking to draw up an international consensus in line with the international and humanitarian laws to decrease the ongoing